So for those of you that watched my other video where I took Seven Gypsies architectures and played with my jelly plate, you saw all the fun that I had. And if you did not see that video, I'll link it below this one. But the next question that almost everybody asks is, okay, it's fun working with the jelly plate and you could spend hours and hours playing with it, then what do you do with it? So I decided to make some tags from the, um, the prints that I had made. And here's a sample of some of the prints. And, um, and so I decided to go with this one because it has a metallic finish and I'm kind of partial to that. And um, for those of you that are new to my channel, most of the stuff that I do, I love to recycle as much as possible. So um, what I'm going to use for the tag are these file folders that a gentleman gave me. Um, he used to manage apartments and he sold the apartments and he was going to toss all these away. So they're perfect to use for tags because it's thick. And because then what I do is I leave this in the back so if somebody wants to write or journal or whatever they want to do, it's ready to go. Okay, so what I'm going to do, well let's first, let's see what size did I do these. I ended up doing these, I guess they're kind of a lot larger than normal that I would do. They are 7 by 3. And so what I'll do is... Um, Figure exactly what, where, what portion of this I want to use and see do I want more of the color, do I want more of the print and let's go about three quarters with the print. That will give me a little guesstimation of what I'm doing. It might help if I get my scissors, huh? <laughs> I'm so used to tearing everything. Okay. Let's put it out a little bit. Give me a little room. And when it comes to this thin paper, because it's just, uh, by the way, this was just done on copy paper. And to avoid... Um, a lot of the rippling. When I do the thin papers, I just use my glue stick. It's my go-to thing when it comes to thin papers. Um, it avoids a lot of that rippling that we always get. So that's what I do. And when I do my jelly prints, it's almost always on this paper because we're, you know, you're going to usually end up um, doing something else with it. So it's never like a standalone project. So we'll put that down. And sometimes you don't get the edges. But on this particular project, um, I am going to sew the edges. So I'm not too concerned about that. Let's trim this up. And then what I'm going to do is um, figure out which one of these little cloth that I have that I'm going to use to put behind the little picture that I'm going to, a little piece of ephemera that I'm going to put here. Now see, it's still wrinkled, but that's okay. I don't know if you can see that, but I can deal with that wrinkling. It's not going to bother me that much. What a mess I have here, huh? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Let's have a space where it's not such a mess. Oh boy. 
This is even better. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so then what I am going to do is um, I have some of this, um, I guess it's cheesecloth, I'm not sure. Somebody wrapped a gift for me out of this and so I just keep it and I cut little pieces off and I use it and I want to use some of that then for the little piece of ephemera uh, Seven Gypsies has this really neat paper it's called Or Du Jour and this is Go To Be and it has all these little small um, uh, pieces of ephemera and it's so cute. I looked through it and I decided I wanted to use the tea time and that was right there. So I'm going to use the tea time on this one because I I like to do contrasting things um, when I work. So I want to have that pink against that and then um, I have a bunch of little pieces of fabric and um, like I say, I save everything. So I searched through my little stash there and I came up with this little piece. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this behind here to give a little bit of a background and put that there. I'm not sure yet where I'm going to put this, but it'll be on there for sure. And then I want a piece of uh, some kind of piece of fabric somewhere. Not sure where or how. <laughs> hmm, maybe something like that. Not sure. Maybe just a piece down the bottom. Okay, well, I'm going to have to take this to my machine and then I will be right back. Okay, so what I did is I decided to use some of this fabric, trim I should say, and I just cut a little piece off of it and I sewed it right here and I sewed the edges and then I sewed the little piece of ephemera onto this cloth and, um, and I'm not quite sure where it's going to go yet but somewhere close by there. Then what I like to do on some of these is I like to rough up the edges just to give it a little extra dim dimension and I like texture on my pieces so I do that and all these techniques that I'm applying to this tag if you're not into tags you can do it to your ATCs that you like or if you do um, um, art postcards and things like that. You can do all these same things to that. So, I get that and then I get a little bit of the Distress ink. It doesn't matter, you know, what color you use, what color, whatever you have. I'm a believer, use what you have. If you have it, it's because you like it, so use it. there and maybe tone down a little bit this white do that just very lightly okay 
and I apologize if my camera is moving. I moved from one space to another and I don't have a permanent setup yet and what I have right now is just obviously not working so um, I'll have to be doing something soon hopefully by next week I'll come up with some kind of an option that will stop everything from moving and I think I'm just going to use some um, tacky glue and maybe put that right there. And that should work right there. And then I want to make a stamp. I'm going to put delight in the little things because all these little ephemeras are so cute. They're small but very cute. So let's put that. And I'm going to do it on a piece of this same file folder that I did before. And yes, I know I have scissors, but I like it torn myself. Okay, and anything that you can draw your eye to is fun. So the more things you look at, It'll move your eye around, and then there's always these little surprises. Whoops, black, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> oh dear, okay. Well, I wanted that to be brown, but hey. Delight in the little things. Okay, we have two colors. Let me clean this off. Okay. Now let's see if we want this up here or down here. Not sure. I don't know, I'm kind of liking it down there. But I like it there too. Oh well. <laughs> no, I'm not putting two. Let's just put it down and be happy. Happy, happy. And I think I'm going to put it here. Okay. And one thing I like about this tacky glue is it sets up pretty quick. And you can just move on. All right. Then we will put there and then I was gifted these real I've never seen these they're in car they're at me out of you know like craft paper oh I should have put that first okay uh, <laughs> hello <coughs> excuse me but these are so neat these were gifted to me and I just love them okay we can still figure out where it is I know I'm getting a little wacky doodle here but it'll be okay Okay, we have that, and these fibers were also, they were gifted to me in a swap, and I love using them. Um, I'm not sure if I want to go with the white, 
put more pink in there. I don't know about that. I think I might go with the white. And then, I, oh, I know, I have these, um, you ladies that knit and do stuff, you probably know what this is. I don't know what it is, but I found it at a, um, look at that. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I found it at a thrift shop, and it was just so fun, and it was all curly, and I was in a swap where we made some dolls. I'd never made a doll before, and I used the little curlies in their hair, and it came out kind of cute, I must say. But um, I usually don't know what I'm doing, but that has never stopped me. I think that's the fun part. I think that if you think you know what you're doing, it, um, it hinders you in a way because you go, oh, no, you can't do that or that won't work. And so you don't try. But if you don't know what you're doing is wrong, <laughs> you do it anyway. And sometimes it works. So I think it's sort of like the... Um, the um, artistic ability of little kids. They they don't have any fear. They just do it. And they don't care if it's not going to work out. And I think we need to get more of that. And we'd have more fun with our art. We're so critical. We want it just right. We want it to be perfect. And, um, you know, having fun is, um, is really what we should be doing. Especially if we're just crafters. I can see if we're doing it for a living. You might have to take it a little more seriously. But as crafters, come on. Let's just have fun. Okay. Now, these um, tags are that I'm making are going to be racks, gifts to some individuals. I'm not sure where they're going yet. But I thought it would be fun to put some stamps. I have... Um, Let's see, these different stamps on there. Where is this? I don't know where this is. Oh, well. Some language, some country. Not sure. <laughs> but we're going to stamp it anyway. Just for the fun of it. Okay, there's one. Okay, and... Just in case it's going airmail. I'm sure at some point at some point it's gonna be on a plane. Okay. And let's see what else. Oh, here's one from Australia. You just never know. It may end up there. And of course, if it goes to Australia, of course it's gonna be airmail. So let's just put this over here. Okay. I think that's enough. I think, I think it's, I think, I think. It's kind of cute. So, with just one little piece from um, this scrapbook paper, and... A few little pieces of scrap material that I have and then using the jelly press and recycled file folders we are all set I think this came out pretty cute what do you ladies think I like it and you can write on the back. So I hope this inspires you to make a tag of your own or make some ATCs or whatever it is that you enjoy making. Even a journal page would look pretty um, with um, the jelly print. Keep in mind that these were made from my jelly prints that were printed with my Seven Gypsies architectures and super super simple and I am going to at the end of the video put some pictures of some other tags that I made with those um, same papers so I hope this inspires you to try something a little different <laughs>